Previously on BlazBlue Continuum Shift Extended. Jeez, that's a long name. Letting something terrible happen to Miss Lychee is out of the question. Please, take that bat and hit me as much as you please. Well then, here I go. I apologize for this, Mr. Bang. And now back to the this this is the right one, right? Right game? We're sure this time? Yeah? Okay, good. Alright, cool. And now back to the sequel. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Squatch Kids of all ages, the likes or not. I am Pump Squatch. Hello and welcome back to Braze Brew Continuum Shift. Extend and that's about it. So uh when we last left off, we completed Lychee's funny ending, and yeah, it was I I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting a little more for whatever reason. So when you know what I did when I was expecting a little bit more? I did the only thing that a sensible man making anime fighter let's play videos on the internet would do, and that is I made Valkenhayn kick bang in the nuts. Not only kick, but drop kick, but not only drop kick, but also I made him do a drop kick that went the distance and made his foot go Super Saiyan! Just to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Poor Bang, man. He got beat up by Lychee last episode, and I'm sure that, you know, he might have been kind of okay with that. Sorry, that's me moving the, the arm for my microphone. Still, it sucks to see this happen to him. He cares about her so much, and it's just, ah, uh, poor Bang. But, uh, <laughs> you guys really liked the last episode, and I'm really glad. We are up to 281 Squatchkins, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I do have a video that I probably already put out. Basically, you can call it, like, a channel updated video or whatever. This may come out after, uh, I don't know, Titanfall 2, and, uh, uh, I was gonna say Bang Dream, but Doki Doki, but who cares? I just, yeah, I'm, ha I'm having fun, so. <laughs> What's up with Bang and just, <laughs> if you think about it, we never really met Bang's parents, and typically your master is like a father figure to you, at least in Bang's case, it seems like. So that technically makes Bang, that's right, everybody, an orphan. <laughs> You probably see where I'm going with this, right? It seems like Valkenine, it's a, just a thing where, I don't know. It just seems like a thing lately where orphans are not having a good time around him. Freaking. It doesn't like Ragna. Just like, just, just kicked him in the face. Then he sent Tanger to the orphanage. Now he just like, Got a running start and a flying drop kick to bang in the nuts so hard that his foot went super sane. <laughs> That's right, I bet you guys didn't know that Valkenhayn was one tenth super saiyan. Man, that would that would explain a lot. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead, get to the comment section of the video. If you wish to skip over to the comment section, by all means, go ahead and skip to the time on screen right here, and we will get over. Do some comments. Wait, before you go, uh, I, I do want to say thank you guys for your words of support about the whole injury to my hand. I do want to see if I'm able to make a video in the near future. It's currently healing very well according to the doctor, and we should be getting this pin out of this hand within a couple weeks. Until then, I am still able to play video games, so yeah, that's awesome. In the near future, I would love to stream, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great. I'm glad to be able to at least play some games, so anyways, guys. Uh, let's get on to the fun. Again, uh, comment section right here. Go in and skip if you want to skip. Anyways, getting to it. Uh, first and foremost, Demothy Gear. Okay, I'll stop. Guillermo said, <laughs> I can't wait for you to learn about Arakune's backstory. I know Arakune is a very unique character considering what he can see that most other characters can't see, such as maybe the boundary or something, I think someone said. But he's able to see a lot further than that most of the other cast here and it's just very interesting because he even has a voice line that says they're watching us or something like that 
he knows they're being watched, not just by the player, but by someone else more powerful. It's like, ooh, I see. Uh, so that 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 was very interesting. Uh, Demothy also said, it's really interesting to see what the people think of Ragna and what he's doing and how almost no one calls him by his name. How they talk about him as if he's just a vicious monster. How, how indifferent they are about him. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, he's, uh, he's just there. He's just there. Sometimes they're annoyed by him. Sometimes they like him. Sometimes they have a, a meal with him. And then sometimes they just simp for him. I don't know what's going on with that, but, you know, it's just, it's crazy, you know? <laughs> it's just, it's like, the, he's there, and the universe just is playing with his life, waiting for something interesting to happen in a way sometimes. Especially with these joke endings. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Cave Wolf said, Wish you a quick recovery from your surgery. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. It was a minor surgery, but it still, uh, it, it still was annoying. Uh, he did say, fun fact, the continuum shift to opening, Sin Shinso, is sung by Amai Asami, the Japanese VA of Tsubaki. Nice! We did it, boys! That's my hand hitting my arm because I have no hand. I can't clap with two hands. It hurts, okay? Uh, it, it, you know, hearing that makes me think I really want to see all these characters just doing karaoke together. I think that would be the greatest thing ever. And how Jin is just saying, like, one of the most, let's say, creative romance songs to Ragna. I think that would be just glorious. I would love that so much. <laughs> and Bang singing to Light Sheen, she's just like, yeah, he's a good friend. I'm glad I know him. Uh, poor Bang. Uh, Cave Wolf also said, People can hide spoilers on Discord, which is very good for me because that's kind of what I want to do about the Discord server. Even for images, videos I can't remember right now, easiest way would be to create a spoiler channel that people who don't want to be spoiled can mute. I agree 158,000%, man. You've got exact- It's like you read my mind. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Arson said, Good to see you upload again. More importantly, hope you have a good recovery of that. Hope you have a good recovery of that knuckle surgery you got. Again, I really appreciate it, man. I, you know, it's you guys are really chill, just really cool about this, and I really do appreciate that you're supportive and have good wishes and words. You know, I I, I really appreciate that. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's a cool little community we got here. I'm glad. I'm glad. Sparrow said, "I'm happy to see you upload a new video with your goofy and." <laughs> Entertainment commentary always brighten my day. Hope you have a quick recovery. Ah, you guys are giving me the warm fuzzies inside. Stop. Uh, no. Again, thank you for the good, for the good words, and uh, I'm glad that you know that you guys like these. I'm glad. I mean, you're watching them, which is good. It's it's not like I have you held against your will or anything to watch these things and slowly go insane with me, right? Right. Nah, nah, nah that, that can't be, that can't be. There's no way. Unless, uh, no, 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 just, okay, I'll stop. T0PDOC, I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna call you Doc. P-Doc, you know, that works, that works, actually. P-Doc said, both this Let's Play and the two-part videos made by Thorgy's Arcade are some of the most entertaining and genuine Blast Blue content on YouTube. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that compliment. Uh, <laughs> it would be cool if you gave a... The YouTube video part one of the Blast Blue Retrospective by Thorgy's Arcade, a watch. Yeah, I actually did have, or I actually do currently have that on my watch later thing, and I really like this game's, like, this series lore and the characters, so I'm definitely more than down to give that a watch. Who knows, but it would be fun to do, like, a watch along on stream or something. I think that'd be really cool, but I don't know. YouTube is, uh, very finicky about other YouTube videos in your videos. It's weird, it's weird. It, yeah. It covers a generalized and entertaining insight into the gameplay and makes the Blast Blue games, excluding the lore, which is part two. And speaking of part two, part two is literally a three hour movie of the plot of Blast Blue Summer. Holy crap. Part two is spoiler free, while part two is, well, as spoilery as spoilers can be. I'd like to hear your thoughts on part on the part one video, and once you finish all the Blasbird series, give part two a watch too. Yeah, I'm more than down. I really am more than down. Let me actually 
search this guy up. So he's on my search history. 69K. Oh my gosh, that profile what? picture. I love it. I love it so much. So good. Aw. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I actually did start to watch this. Oh, shoot. Why did I stop watching it? Is because I thought, uh, I want to go completely blind. Oh man, I actually did start watching this. When did I start watching this, actually? Oh my gosh, I tried- I actually tried watching it all the way back in March. Yikes, I didn't even know that. Oops, alright. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's a rabbit hole we're going down. Let's not go down this rabbit hole in my search history. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, not like that. Anyways, guys, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get back into the story of Braze Brew. Continuum shift, extend, and story, Lychee. Let us begin. I really do. Lychee stories, erosion. Yeah. Skip. Where's the Mexican food? There's Chinese food. What? They're talking about this in, Ch in basically Chinatown, and oh my gosh, I just, I want to say something about the art in this game. I absolutely love it. Look at that. Just wow. look at it. It looks like a lot of preparation. Oh my into this. gosh. Just, it's amazing. It's blooming amazing. Like, I just love it. It's so good. So good, man. Anyways, uh, should I try to get the bad end and the good end in one sitting? If I can manage and have time, we'll see, I guess, though. All right, so this is where we had the decision for the funny ending or the continuing of the story. So we're going to actually return to the clinic and continue the story because, like, she overheard some people saying, oh, that's weird about the whole, like, big, almost world ending event that happened there oh my gosh that's crazy let's go get a skewer check out the fireworks afterwards would you like to save yes of course would i look like some sort of scrub that loses to lag no of course not i'm sorry but would you mind if i return to the clinic oh uh, of course not i'll i'll go back with you i wouldn't be able to stop worrying about you if i didn't uh linwa poor linwa all she wanted was a... <sighs> I, I'm i sorry, I just can't stop from saying it. She just wanted... <laughs> she just wanted a date with her sensei. Her big old mahaganagunga, thick-thighed, wide-hipped sensei. I'm sorry, what's what's going on again? I, I, I lost track for a moment. Ah, right, video games. <laughs> no, it's okay. Please, go Sheesh. enjoy yourself. Really, don't worry about me. Doctor, it's nothing, really. I just felt a little dizzy for a few seconds. Mm. It's nothing to be concerned about. It's everything to be oh, concerned about. Okay. Concerned about. But just don't push yourself too hard, okay, Doctor? Ah, uh, please, Lychee, don't do, don't, don't push yourself, please. I'll try not to. I'll see you later. Oh, also, I hope that, uh, I know that in this new place, it's very echoey because I have a lot of things to put up. I hope that after toying around with some of the settings in my, uh, what is it, like Logitech whatever settings, whatever, I hope that it's a little less echoey and I hope it's not as bad, uh, but I guess I'll find out in post, am I right? Yeah. All right, back to it. Well, oh my gosh, my food. Oh my gosh, calm down. You're just a statue. I, I suddenly... Sorry. What's this feeling? Ever since I heard about the terrorist act incident, I suddenly... Ugh. I wonder if it's just because I'm tired. Maybe I should go straight back to the clinic and get some rest. Hmm, wait a minute. Does she remember some memories from a different timeline? Because it's like, apparently, according to how someone said, I don't know, it's, it's messy, but someone did mention how basically it's kind of like each, each story ending is its own timeline, but once it's over, the whole story, the whole universe of Blast Blue kind of resets and starts over. 
in a way. Not sure if that's for the joke endings too, but if that would be the case, then Lychee remembers some of the other ones, I'm sure. At least, well, doesn't remember, but there's something about it that stuck in her soul or something that she remembers. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's... Boy, the lore is crazy, man. <laughs> hmm? Oh, there seems to be someone waiting in front of the clinic. It's Bang peeping through the window. I wonder if it's a patient. It's Bang peeping um, through a window. Are you okay, sir? Did you need to see a doctor for something? <gasps> Finally, you're back. No. no. I'm not a patient. No, no. He's about to, he's about to say, call a doctor, but not for me. Um, I must apologize. Did I forget about an appointment or something? Mm, not quite. I was waiting for you, Miss Lychee Failing. Uh-oh. What? Uh, what just happened? The moment he approached me, my vision just... Everything just went black. I... I can't see anything. What's happening? That can't be good. I don't know what's going to go what? on. What's that light? It doesn't seem natural. It's... It's like I'm sinking into a pit of darkness. This... This is the Azure! What... What was that? What just happened? He doesn't have the Azure yet, does he? No. No, he doesn't have the power of the... Oh. I don't know. What's going on? Are you hey. alright? You look like you just woke up from a nightmare. Who are you? Oh, wait, what? Already? Oh my, how rude of me. Please, let me introduce myself. I work for the intelligence department of the Novus Orbis Librarium. Please, call me Hazama. How about I call you Dick? Dick Ada Dixon. The NOL. What do you want with me? Actually, I was hoping to talk to the Lychee Failing who used to work at Sector 7. That's you, I assume. Your theory about organisms and the reverse flow of Seether from the Boundary is very... well, interesting. How do you know about that? That research was never published, let alone released to the public. Hmm, that is a good question. Well, uh, would you be willing to accept that I just know it because I work for Librarium Intelligence? No, it's way deeper. Once again, I ask you, where did you get that information? Come on. Do you really think I'm going to tell you? I'm sorry you feel that way. Whoa! If that's how you wish to be, I will simply extract the information from you! Okay. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. The will fate is turning. Holy oh Rebel. my gosh! I mean what? <laughs> Serpent's benediction. Oh, okay. Okay, how do I uh, do a super? Jeez, this is this is gonna take a oh my gosh, she has a lot of moves. Oh my gosh, come on! What the heck? Create a flaming blast in front. What? How do I use this? The Great Wheel, ah yes. Transforms the rod and sends it after the opponent. 13 orphans? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at the uh, because of the title. I'm just laughing because of the context of what happened with Valkenhayn. Oh my gosh. 13 orphans. T-back, T-back, T-back. Nice. All right. <laughs> 
wonderful! Well, that was awfully entertaining, Light Chief Failing. Mm. You are strong. Uh, well, if you don't mind, I think maybe we should wrap this up for today. Wouldn't you agree? The heck? Fortunately for you, I do not agree. Why is he here? Oh, oh, oh. Why the scary face? Look, I, I, I can't tell you exactly where I got that information, but how about I tell you something else I know? Mm. Something else? Yeah, something about that creature. Uh, what's its name? Arachne? What? Sound good to you? Why do you know that? Ah, well, I guess that information is useful to you. How about a little appetizer? Oh, then? no, 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 that. Let's see here. Subject number 09765, Arachne. Currently at large somewhere in the sewers of Kagutsuchi. Occasionally comes to the upper levels to feed on various life forms. Hmm. Looks like most of his activity takes him to Orient Town and the Kaka Clan village. No. Seems the reason he has to feed on other life forms is to fuel some sort of power he got from the other side of the boundary. In other words, he does it to sustain his own existence. I see. Huh? Oh, looks like there haven't been many incidents lately. You... Mm -hmm. What else have I got? Hmm. The reason for his existence is... The pursuit of knowledge. Huh. Well, that does make sense. He was a human once, and... A researcher at Sector 7. In fact, he's the very first victim of your Seether Flow theory, isn't he? What? That... So that must be why she feels responsible. Oh no. Lychee, I, 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 I don't care. Just do it. Do it. I, I, I want I to know want the to truth know the behind, the behind, the behind the boundary. Behind the world. The world. Stop it. Why is he here? Why is he here? Oh, is something the matter? Was it something I said? Where? How? How did you find out about all of this? Please, don't underestimate the Librarian's Intelligence Network, Miss Failing. Mm. We are the largest organization in the world, you know. Please, don't compare us to some little club that can't even manage to control the flow of power from the Boundary. Then don't tell me you... You know... It looks like you've really tired yourself out. With all the commotion you're causing, it's only a matter of time before people spot us out here. And you wouldn't want that, would you? <gasps> well, I'll be back later. Until then, goodbye, Lychee Failing. Also, what was that sound she made? Lychee? Lychee, this was a fight. You're not supposed to be making sounds like that. The NOL can't possibly know what he truly is. Why was Hazuma here? What did he want to get out of her? There's, we're going to see more of him later for sure. This isn't the end of it. Oh my gosh. It seems as if the situation has changed. I'd better act fast. I must get in contact with the professor as soon as possible. What does he have in, st in store for Lychee? Booby lady! Oh, booby lady! Oh my gosh! Freaking Tao. Freaking Tao. That voice. Tao? Lychee was thinking to herself that she should head back to the clinic for the day when a voice called to her. Oh, Hi, Tao. Tao. Hi, Tao. Tao, what's the matter? Did something terrible happen? Um, well, you see, good guy fell from the sky, and he's out cold, meow. Oh. I looked him over, and he seems hurt really bad. I think he needs help, meow. 
So this is where we're going with the story. Okay. From the sky. Anyway, this person you're talking about is hurt, right? That's right, Meow. Good guy is sleeping in Tao's village right now. I want you to come and heal him right now. Yes, we must go, Lychee, to heal. I mean, what? I'm not sure if I can help him without first checking his condition, but I will do everything I can. Add, Lychee. But I'm the one always making them. Gosh darn it, Tao. Uh, at the very least, things do get better when Tao's around because she kind of cheers everybody up. You gotta appreciate that, and you gotta love that about the character. You just gotta, you know? Huh? Oh, yeah! Now that you mention it! Don't worry about thanking me, Tao. Gosh. Let's hurry to your village. Actually, Tao was gonna ask for some food right now. Thank gosh. Uh, hmm? So, how bad is it, Meow? These wounds. Clearly, they weren't inflicted by a normal weapon. Probably a Nox Nictoris class. Uh oh. Tao, I need to examine him a bit more closely. Could you please step back and give me a little more room? Okay, Tao will get out of your way. Well. Let's start with his heart rate and breathing. No, not again! What? What is it? What? The darkness. Again. It's the same thing as when I was standing near Hazama. The dark. It goes on without end. What is happening? Uh, that light again! But... No, it's different from last time. I can't be sure, but... It seems warm... And inviting. A very gentle... And warm blue light. I want to touch it. I beg your pardon? Am I the only one... That thought of that scene from Finding Nemo of the boat that they keep calling a butt. Just me? Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's move on. Uh. Hmm? A touch on her shoulder brings Lychee back to reality. Turning around in response, she finds herself looking up in the face of a tall, lean, kaka woman. Don't allow yourself to be seduced by the azure. Oh, that's what it is. Who are you? The figure who gave Lightsheet th that somewhat cryptic warning definitely wasn't Taukaka. The depth of knowledge behind her eyes, as well as her calm, confident demeanor, made that impossible. Tao told Tora it was a bad idea, meow. <laughs> I warned her that you'd get mad if anyone but me fondled your boobies. I beg your pardon? Tao? Tao? Really? Come on, that's... I... That's not what she was... You, you know what, Torakaka, get this over with. Just do it so Tao will shut up. Then she just like fondles just like Tao for whatever reason and I'm just here just thinking, man, this game is way more horny than I thought it would be. <laughs> and this is Blast Blue. I'm fully aware of how horny it could get. <laughs> what am I even saying anymore? I don't know. This this game, I feel like, is going to be the end of me. <laughs> I wasn't even considering doing such a thing. I should have introduced myself earlier. My name is Tora Kaka, former guardian of the Kaka village. Right now, I am traveling throughout the world. You... Not even a little? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, sort of. No. Anyways. Tora Kaka? I see. Thank you very much for... I almost... No need to thank me. It's just that it seems you're very easily seduced by the power of the Azure Meow. I just thought it prudent to warn you. Really? Right. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. I hope that you do. Tal, the doctor is going to treat the good guy now, so stop trying to molest her. 
Whoa, 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 we can't use that word on YouTube, I think. Can we? Not sure. Uh, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and say that she's- she meant molestar, which is Spanish for mess with. That's not fair! How come Torakaka gets to fondle her but not Tao? Mmm. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll play with you instead. Wait, what? What kind of playing is going on here? What? No, 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 I'm just... Oh boy. There you go. Your Ara Ara Onisan is gonna play with you. Be happy, Tao. Be happy. Meow. Yes, Tao, what? really. <laughs> Doctor, I'm sure I can leave the rest to you. What was with that meow? Okay. Yes, and thank you. After that one last glimpse, Lychee never again saw the world exposed by the Asher. After treating Waragna's wounds, Lychee departs from Lost Town and retraced her steps back home. Ragna the Blood Edge, Hazama, and now the Azure. Something strange. Yeah, something strange is definitely going on here. No, actually, I think I understand. It's the effect of the boundary. Oh. It's slowly consuming me. Oh. I don't think... That I have much time left. What? Is she... How? What? Could it be the same thing that happened to Arakune? No, no way. Is it? No, no, no way. What? Another person waiting in front of the clinic? Isn't that... Mr. Bang? Um, hmm. Oh, Miss Lychee. Oh. I'm so relieved you're here. I was afraid no one was home. Okay, no, he's fine. I apologize for my absence. What seems to be the matter? What seems to be the matter is that I have not simped for you today. There you have, it's been like 12 hours since you last simped. You see? That means there are 12 moments in time that I have not simped. Oh, wait, what? Bang! Ah! I'm a simp every hour, one hour per day. Uh, what? Do not question it. I will simp. Ha! Lychee, please go into your house so I may look through the window. Ha ha! Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold up, hold up, buddy. Hold up, bang. Hold, hold up, hold up. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Bang. Whatever may be the issue. Well, bang. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, that's kind of creepy, man. Like, it, 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 it just you, you need to stop. Bang, bang. You, you gotta stop, man gonna creep her out and make her just run away you, you can't do that man you can't she's a nice lady yes and she's very pretty and all that but you can't scare her away like this that's something that you know stalkers or potentially people that will get arrested do that i don't want to see you go through that man but i have cheese grater abs yeah yeah you do have cheese grater abs and they oh my gosh that's an eight pack actually my gosh but you just can't do that to people. It, it scares them, man. It scares them. Oh. Then should I show her my glutes? Uh, wait, what? No. Pup. <sighs> you know what? Screw it. Just, just do whatever you need to do, man. Later. Take a look at Master Carl. This child needs your help. Oh, right. Carl was hurt. I forgot about that. Uh, he appears to be injured. I see. Would you mind bringing him inside for me? And this is where she's going to put it together, isn't it? Of course not. Thank you very much. Bang is such a nice guy, man. That should do it for now. His breathing seems to have returned to normal, too. Oh, I'm so relieved. You see that child? I mean, Master Carl is my cute little apprentice. He really does care about him. Is that so? A child so young. 
It... it looks like he's in pain. He's just sleeping right now. I'm sure it's just a dream or something. Hmm... Sis... Sis... Even in his dreams, uh -huh. he still seeks for his sister. Throughout his entire apprenticeship to me, he has called that mechanical puppet his sister. This child... he's crying. I see. It must have been a very painful memory. Yeah, it's it's a very complicated situation. And for completely different reasons. Well, long story short, his family reunions are very complicated and unique. Not at all for the reasons you would ever guess unless you knew this game. Lychee gently wipes, wiped away Carl's tears with her finger and placed her hand on his. Such tiny hands, yet with so many scars. He's been trying so hard this whole time. Him being alone. I could never take the place of your sister, but... I hope that you will meet her in your dreams. M Miss Lychee... Please look after Master Carl. I... I believe I need several large breaths of fresh air. Aw, oh, man. I understand. Like she gently squeezed his hand and then lowered her gaze to the mechanical marionette that stood silently before the bed. Nox Nictoris. Nirvana. Sister, huh? Nirvana's expressions were impossible to read, but Lychee somehow managed to, to sense something akin to kindness coming from her. <sighs> oh no, not again. Oh, this is... an image? No, a place. T take her? No, don't tell me! Well, she knows Tager personally. Nirvana, was that you who showed me that image? Is that where Tager is? But why? I see. Well, I really want to thank you nonetheless. I'd better go now. Miss Lychee, I heard a cry. Has something happened? Mr. Bang? No, it's nothing. However, there is a favor I must ask of you. Ask of me? B but of course. What might you need? If it is something I can accomplish, then the services of Kagutsuchi's foremost ninja are at your service. <laughs> I want you to watch over Carl until he wakes up. Can you handle that? Master Carl? Why, of course I can, but where are you going? I... there's something that requires my immediate attention. I do not know what you are talking about, but I sense it is important. Yes. Understood. I will protect Master Carl, even at the cost of my own life. Please rest assured, I, Bang Shishigami, will take care of everything! Thank you. Well, I must be off. Oh my gosh, that- Okay, aside from the whole image that Lychee saw, that was so wholesome, man. Ah, that- <laughs> That was so nice and wholesome. Ah, uh, it's like... I understand that- Lychee doesn't see Bang as any more than a friend, but it's, they just, the way they were written seems like they're perfectly made to support each other, regardless, regardless of whether they're friends or not. They, are, they just work so good together, and I love it. I really, really do. And it's, it's so good. So good. They both really do care for the boy. They both really care for Carl. Carl. 
the place Nirvana showed me should be over here. Oh shoot, I forgot to save. Darn it. <laughs> I was caught up in the wholesome. Aichi increased her pace and sprinted towards Kagutsuchi's drawbridge. As she approached, the all too familiar t figure of Tager came into view. You're really here. Lychi, what are you doing here? Hi, Tager. Tager, I have a favor to ask you. I need to get into contact with the professor. This isn't like you, Lychi. Is something wrong? Very yes. Please, Tager, it's very important. I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of a mission right now. I'm afraid I can't help you. Oh boy. Please, just for a moment. I only need to speak with her for a moment. Lychi. Uh, she wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't important. Tager, you can hear me, right? Uh, hi, Kokonoe. Yeah, I just ran into Lychee. Yeah, I figured that out. Why do you think I called you? Professor, is that you? Lychee seems rather determined to talk to you. Would you like me to hand her the receiver? No. Uh-oh. Tager, give that stubborn child a lesson, all right? Oh, come I'll on. out. Oh my gosh, come on! What? Wait, do you want me to fight her? Hey, hey Kokonoe! Professor! Hey, Kokonoe! That's an order! Professor, why? Damn. Sorry, Lychee. It doesn't look like I've got much of a choice. Oh my... Okay? Uh, so... Jeez. Why doesn't she... I guess she's really just too focused on her mission that she doesn't really have time the for anything will else. Rebel one. Action. Action. Uh, How naughty. Ow. Wait, what? 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 What was that you said, Lychee? What was that you said, young lady? The Great Wheel. Uh, all green. Okay. Thirteen orphans, guys. We gotta use our most powerful attack. Huh. Oh my gosh, I got hit. Thirteen orphans. There we go. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Tea bag. Tea bag. Tea bag. Mm -hmm. How cute. Sledge. Mm -hmm. How naughty. Oh my gosh. I dare you. Hi, hi. Not quite. Ha, ten. Uh, you asked for it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. No. No. Tea bag. Tea bag. Yes. <laughs> I was way more hyped for that than I should have been. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> this power? Lychee? This is the power of the teabag, Tiger! You can't handle this! Please, give me the phone and step out of the way. What did I just say? <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Lychee? Uh, keep in mind, this is a family-friendly channel. What? Why am I losing what? consciousness? Lychee? She's getting even stronger? Ugh. If this keeps up, I won't be holding back much longer. Hell, even if I pull out all the stops, that might not be enough. You serious? Is... Is that why Hakuman... Not Hakuman, Hazuma was there earlier? Because... He knows. He knows Lychee is going to get more strong because... We're going to get stronger because of the Azure, right? She's drawn to it. She's going to get consumed by it. That's what she was saying earlier. Gosh. Tager, stop! Cease all combat now! Uh-oh. Uh, roger that. Standing down. <laughs> oh no. Looks like we made it in time. Oh my gosh. Um, whew, that's a, this is turning into a different game again. Hurry up. I had power just now. Tager? That was too close. Before I realized it, I, the power of the boundary. I was being overwhelmed by the power of the boundary. By the power of the Azure. I couldn't control it. No. You get it now, Lychee? This is your answer. 
gosh. I mean, look at her. I mean, oh, well, <laughs> never mind. Let's not look at her. This is a family friendly channel. I was going to say, she really is not. She's really shaken up by this, but oh my gosh. Um, she really is shaken up, though, by this whole thing. Professor, you're not capable. No. No human is capable of controlling the power of the boundary. Your time's up. Come back, Lychee. Just let us deal with him, okay? Professor... I... I'm sorry, Professor. I... I... Lychee! Leave her! But... Trying to convince her now isn't gonna get us the outcome we want. She's not stupid. I'll bet dollars to donuts she felt the azure and figured it out herself. Power from the boundary comes with a shitload of terror. And I think she got a first-hand taste of that. Oh. Anyway, you know who that kid is? Kid? So it was what? you! Linwa! Linwa, go home! N no, I was just... You're the one who hurt the doctor! I was watching the whole uh, time! Um, what did you do to her? Uh... Oh no. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. They've unleashed the real danger in this world. A little girl in love with her. Whoa, hold on a minute there. If you need someone to fight, I'll take you on! Ugh! How's that? Take that! And that! Uh, I, I... I actually don't feel anything. It's not because I can't feel anything. I, I can. I can feel everything, like... People punching me, bugs, food, like, I, I can feel everything, but you, you just... Wow, that is kind of sad, actually. Um, hmm. Oh, oh right, uh, I mean, ow, yes, that hurts. Okay, later. Ah! Tears pouring down her face, Linwa continues to swing her small fists at Taker. It's more than obvious the child is trembling with fear. Hager's solid metal body is too strong and rigid for the hands of an untrained child. Before long, Ingma's hands begin to bleed. And even that does not stop her. Oh my gosh. Hey, stop that, kid! <sighs> it doesn't hurt! It doesn't hurt at all! Ingma. Alright, I get it. I lose. I'm sorry. Attaboy, Tager. Oh, I'm gonna cry now. <sighs> Tager. Yes, yes, I know. I'll get the bottle. What? Give me a call once that little bag of snot calms down. Keep her busy until then, alright? What the- <laughs> what? Roger. Great, Tager's on babys babysitter duty now. <laughs> Lychee failing. Looks like things are just about to get interesting. Hmm. Even she did not know how far she ran. It was as though she was trying to escape someone, running in a blind panic. Her panicked flight eventually took her to what appeared to be a plaza of some sort. This is... a park? When did I... It's no use. I need to concentrate on something or I... I... I'm so scared. I feel like I'm being ripped apart. Gosh. I thought I was prepared for this. I knew what was going to happen. But to be consumed like this, to have myself slowly erode away... I didn't think it would scare me so badly. Lao Chu crouched over Lychee, who sat with her arms wrapped around her, a look of concern on his face. Lao Chu, no, it's nothing. You didn't do anything wrong. Huh? But I... I don't know what to do. Looks like you're in quite a bit of pain. <gasps> no! Uh, it's you! Oh, please, not the scary face again. I just came to talk today, really. Get out of here, now! 
talk? I have nothing I wish to discuss with you. Well, if that's really how you feel, could you at least listen to what I've got to say? I really don't have a lot of time, so I'll get to the point. I can stop the progression of that little curse of yours, Lai oh, you. failing. Oh, you sneaky little... <gasps> well, okay, that's not totally true. I can't do it myself, but the Librarium can. Even the Professor couldn't do it. There's no way they'd be able to. I assume you already know about the Professor, right? Hmm? Sector 7's head scientist, Kokonoi. Why, of course I do. I know her very well. Well then, you should also know where this is going to lead. Well, yes, she is a genius. Died in the woo genius, and about as stubborn as a bad case of the clap. She's just too fixated on that ancient science stuff. You know, she won't let herself see the truth. You know what I mean, right? Seether isn't something to be used. It's something to be controlled. And if anyone knows how to do that, it's the Librarium. That's the power of human technology. The power of Ars Magus. Ars Magus isn't as convenient as you'd like to think. Seether is a lot more terrifying than you might want to believe. I know that. That's why I... Tell him, Lychee. Right. Lychee. Baby. Don't call her how that. How long do you think it's been since Ars Magus was invented? Pro tip, it's been a while. Technology moves forward every day. Don't call her that, man. We don't like you. Nobody likes you. Your Jordans are fake. Your suit's nice and all. But your Jordans are still fake. And your attitude is just pure trash. Honestly, if anyone should get beat kick kicked in the nuts right now, it's you. Actually, Falconine, you mind helping here? <laughs> okay, I'm coming in hot! <laughs> what the? <laughs> but... Please, don't underestimate the Novus Orbis Librarium. I still don't trust you. Yes, well, I guess I can see that. All right. Yeah. How about I give you this little tidbit as a token of our newfound friendship? I can tell you where your boyfriend Arachne is. And this info is legit. Straight off the street. Still don't trust you. I don't care what you say or what you do. I don't trust you, and I never will. You lie! There's no way you could learn of his whereabouts so easily! Uh, I'm not so sure about that one. He doesn't exactly make it hard to find him when he starts killing people. I think you may have forgotten you're talking to someone from Librarium Intelligence. There isn't a lot I can't learn easily. Do you wish to save? Yes, of course. Duh. I'm a pro at this game and saving things. Duh. Forgetting the fact that I forgot to save earlier. What the heck? I do feel incredibly foolish just doing as he told me to do. But at this point, it's all I have to go on. And I've already decided that I'm going to save him. <sighs> this can't be good. I don't care how many times you ask. My answer's not going to change. Oh, a flashback. Why would you say that? Please, at least tell me what he did. Why can't you? And just what the hell are you going to do with that information? Come on, haven't you ever heard that ignorance is bliss? Sure, that's usually bullshit, but this time it's true! <laughs> I never thought that I'd hear something like that from you. Besides, well, people. I already know some of it. He was researching the Azure Grimoire. Ugh, don't get me started. So please! Yeah, that's right. He was researching the Azure. So what? Now you know what I know, and that's all I know. I saw all of his research on the flow of Seether. I took it all with me. Most of his research focused on the compression of Seether into a solid. I'm sure you know that much already, correct? Of course I do. So? 
That's what the Black Beast was. He oh, discovered shoot. a link That's between the right. Black Beast and the Azure Grimoire. Professor, exactly what did he see that time at Ikaruga? There are some things even I don't know. He was good at covering his tracks. But what the hell does any of that matter now? Talking isn't going to bring him back. You need to get that through your head, Lychee. Now back down. Understood. You managed to dodge all of my questions back then. But I know you know more than you're letting on. I have no doubt about that. Hmm. If only I knew what you were hiding. Huh? No. You were really where he said. Oh, air. I am memory. Oh, oh my. My memory. Rakune. Oh, air. I am memory. Oh, oh my. My memory. I have no memory of a woman like you. Memory. Finally. Finally, we meet at last. Aww. Uh. I finally get to see you. How long has it been since then? This conversation. It was supposed to be the first time I've spoken these words, but. Alright. No, string. Alright. You are brain. <laughs> strings? What strings? Now is not the time to be worrying about this. Oh! Wait, we're just jumping right into it? That's it? Um. Okay. I guess. The will fade its taunting. Rebel one. one action. Okay, listen. Oh, hold on. Uh, all green. Okay. Uh, let's see. Boundary. All green. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Harakune. <sighs> The professor said something about a peaceful world, but... Hurry, the strings have already made it to your brain. Is he referring to Lychee and what she's going through right now? I don't have any doubts now. These memories aren't mine. No. To be more accurate, they are the memories oh. of other possible versions of me. By accessing the power of the boundary, the different versions of me have been linked together. So... They are different versions of her, different timelines or whatever of her. Oh, wow, okay. Lychee. <gasps> Lychee, it's me. Do you understand? Oh, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I... Oh my gosh, no. No, I am not gonna cry at this. Don't do this, Arakune. Come on. You... have you... come back to me? Oh, I am gonna cry at this. Yeah, this is probably something very temporary. I will be consumed right away. Again. And next time, I doubt... No, you can't. Oh, why? What can I do? Listen to me, Lychee. I'm sure you've experienced it by now. By touching the boundary, being ensnared by the Azure. Your very consciousness becomes shattered, and your memories become a quagmire. Y yes You must not touch the boundary. The Azure. It is a source of power that humans should never use. If your current condition continues to grow worse, you too will be unable to- But in order to save you, I- It's okay. It's okay now. I'm glad I was able to talk to you. One last time. Oh yes. And Lychee, please, believe. Believe in Kukuno. She is... What? The professor? What about her? Please, Lychee. Well, I am still myself. Let me die. 
Please! Kill me! Oh. I... Oh. No way. Giving me another option for this? Uh, uh, just... I don't know. Okay, this one leads... Okay, so this one leads to the bad end. Let's... Do the true end first. Then the bad end. Just so I get the right amount of depression in my life. Something's not right. I can't kill him. I just can't. There must be some other way. Another way. Like, <laughs> please. No, it has to be a trap or something. Wait, please, just wait a little while longer. Calm down. Just calm down. Okay, now that I think about it, why hasn't my memories or knowledge been corrupted? True, I guess. My <laughs> That means I must be approaching my limits as well. Yet, why haven't I lost anything of me? How come I can still maintain my shape and form? And Ragna the Blood Edge as well. Not only was he exposed to Seether, he is directly channeling the power of the Boundary. Yet why? How is it that he can maintain himself? The answer lies somewhere in there. The Sankishin, the Black Beast, Nox Nictoris, and Ars Magus, the Azure Grimoire, the power of the Azure, the successor of the Azure, the Master Unit. Wait a second. Don't tell me. The Azure Grimoire is actually... I see. Yes, I understand now. Finally. The answer was there in front of me all this time. Well, go ahead and spit it out. My brain isn't working because of the sadness right now. <laughs> oh, never mind. It was just gas. Arakune cries out in agony, agony while dragging the putrid near-dead remains of his body behind him. Soon, only the lingering stench of decay is left behind as Arakune disappears into the darkness. Silence transcends into the area around her. I'm sorry, but I couldn't do as you asked. Instead, I must fulfill my own desires. I swear to you that I will save you. Man, do you wish to say? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm going to save. Uh, Balkanine! I'm a little surprised you knew about this place. As those words leave Hazma's lips, he closes the book that he's holding. His look isn't of surprise, but of expectation. As if the immense had, events had unfolded before him exactly as he predicted. You surprised? I thought you knew everything. Yeah, that's right. Wonderful! Of course, Lai Chi Fei Ling! I'm glad to see you finally figured it all out! So, you have the Azure too? The Blaze Blue? Yup. Well, to be honest, it's a little different, by which I mean a little better. Of course, this is still just a cheap copy of the original. The real Azure is... well, it's impressive. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, how scary! A woman with a secret is truly a terrifying creature. I'd say it looks like you've already made up your mind. Whoever, whatever you are, doesn't matter to me anymore. I will not turn back. Yeah. Hey, booby lady! I came to play again today! Tao? You're so warm and squishy, Aww. booby lady. What the heck? Why did she say it like that? Like she was on as a massage chair or something. <laughs> oh, Tao. 
If I'm able to save him. Miss Lychee! Oh, hey, Bang. Oh, jeez. He's here again today? I don't think you'll ever learn, Doctor. <laughs> Linwa, there's no need to be so mean. Doctor, you're just too nice. Whoa. I'm going to the NOL. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Wait, the NOL? Well, she did say she found the answer. Lychee's story, erosion, end. Oh my gosh. That was good. That was really good. Alright, but now we gotta get the bad ending. Hey, Arcune, please don't eat me alive this time Without again. One. Action. Take I remember this. himself. Take oh gosh, he's gonna kill me. Oh, okay. Ow. Listen. All green. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta get the bad ending. Cause I gotta cry today. Let's do as he wishes. I don't wanna, but I'm gonna. Wait. How are you feeling, Lychee? Did she actually go through with it off screen? I don't know which is worse. Because I know that's going to affect her. Um, I'm feeling really good today. Thank you. Also strange that Kokonoe is visiting her here right now. I see. Well, then maybe you should go get some fresh air. Take her. Give her a hand, will you? Roger. Thanks, Lychee. Excuse me. Thank you, Professor, for bringing me all the way back to Kagutsuchi. No, this doesn't feel right. Something is off. Well, I didn't have a whole lot of choice, did I? You couldn't move. Whatever. Just forget about it. Hey, Tager! Can't you be a little more gentle with her? You're asking an awful lot, Kokonoe. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Kokonoe, you have a patient! That's Professor Kokonoe to you, kid. How many times are you gonna make me what tell the? you? Damn it, fine. I'm coming. Tell them to keep their shirt on. I'll be there in a sec. Dr. Kokonoe? I'm truly sorry. Making you keep an eye on my clinic, too. What happened? Hey, didn't I tell you not to worry about it? Knock it off. Doctor! Ugh! Calm down, you little imp! I'm coming! Do you have to deal with this shit every day? Yes, that's part of the job. Once you get used to it, it's actually quite a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take your word for that. The only thing that keeps this place from being a total shithole are these snacks. They're somewhat enjoyable. Hey, Tager, let's go. You're helping. You can't be serious, Kokonoe. How is Tager gonna help? Alright, I'm gonna check your blood pressure. Just give me once, and I dislocated your arm. Uh, sorry about that. How about I just check your pulse? No, 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 that, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. You can bet your massive metal ass I am. Move! <laughs> if you'll excuse me, Lychee. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. How does it look, Kokonoe? I've done everything I can. I think I managed to slow down the corrosion quite a bit, but... She's lost a fair amount of her memory. I'm amazed she's managed to keep herself together this long, to be honest. Oh. Oh. I took the liberty of collecting a little data when I touched her a few minutes ago, but... These numbers seem like they should be impossible. It's a miracle that she's even able to talk. Well, she is a doctor. I'm sure she has an idea of what's going on, but 
Based on my numbers, she's got about six months to live if she's lucky. Oh. If she's not, probably more like two. Oh my gosh, what happened? I see. Tager, I think I finally understand what Lychee was going through. What do you mean? I'll never give up. I don't care if I've got to drain the whole goddamn boundary or dive straight into an ocean of Seether. I'm going to save Lychee. No matter what it takes, these hands of mine are going to bring her back. Mark my words, Tager. I'm going to save her. Oh, no. Now this is going to create a cycle, isn't it? Kokonoi. Doctor! Oh, doctor! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Just give me a second. Damn it. Never ends, does it? The breeze feels so good. And suddenly, I remembered those important words that were buried somewhere deep within my memories. Though I cannot remember who spoke them. The memory, although tinged with pain and sadness, is a warm one. That is why I will think on it every day. So that I never forget. Thank you, Lai Chi. Oh, and here comes the sadness. Okay. Okay, I'm a big boy. Thank you. One of the many possibilities of the continuum shift. Oh my. Professor Kokonoe? Oh my gosh, why did that ending hurt? Hi, Kokonoe. Greetings. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I'm a sad, what? lost little child who looked up a guide online. Do Don't care. Just, just show me the funny. I need, well. a, I need help. I'm. This lost is sad. Child. Professor. Oh, okay. Hi, Lychee. Oh, Lychee, it's you. Thank goodness. Feels like it's been an eternity since a normal person came in here. Yes, but, you know, with that came her having giant mahogany gungas that you're gonna get mad about. Huh? And what is that supposed to mean? Just about everyone who walks in here is a verified nut bar. I've got stuff to do, you know? I can't spend all day giving out extremely valuable advice. Especially when the people that she's giving it to are all crazy or just dumb, you know? Or even just a combination of both. Actually, it's usually a combination of both. Huh. Well, that's that answers a lot. Moving on. Oh my. I guess it must be incredibly difficult for you. I guess it must be incredibly difficult for you to fake sincerity. Wow. <laughs> That's not it at all, Professor. Oh, I brought you some cake. Please help yourself. Oh, that's nice. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Mmm. Uh, mmm, pretty good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why is that not a thing? Just chewing a. Just like, mmm, ASMR. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, not my voice. That would get annoying after a few minutes, but yeah. That uh, seems like it should be a thing. I don't I don't watch ASMR tomorrow listen to it, but I'm surprised that's not a thing. As I suspected, bringing the professor sweets was the course of wisdom. Oh my gosh. So, Lychee, if you're... then that must mean... Yes, I knew I couldn't hide it from you. Well, you brought me something special, so I've got something special here in my pants for... I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon, Kokonoe? What is this? What? 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 Professor, don't say easily misunderstood things like that. Yeah, don't say it unless you mean it. I mean, don't say things like that. Oh, keep your shirt on. <laughs> I was just kidding. Anyway, I do have some advice for you. Oh my gosh, I thought... Oh boy, I, for a second I thought Kokonoe was dabbling a little too much with science. Before she had a, 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 let's call it a growth. 
That was unexpected. Really? Thank you so much! Lychee, you can't just do whatever your emotions tell you. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Y yes It's just whenever I think about him, I... I'm sorry. Ugh, you're so smart. But when it comes to that idiot, you just lose it. It's really embarrassing. Anyway, with that said, I do have a little something for you. Your gracious and kind professor will lend you a hand. I got you this! Just click and... Hmm? What is it? What the... Blue the net shopping. shopping! Blue net shopping? The heck is... Did they put a handsome mask on Arakune? Or a trash bag or something? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you couldn't speak clearly because you were standing in front of the man you love? What? Oh, is, is this the shopping network? Well, worry no more. We have the solution to your problem. Here it is, the Arachnodroid. Hey there, Lychee. Oh, something the matter? You seem pretty down in the dumps. He seems pretty happy to me. Also, this is weird, right? Like, this is real weird? I mean, weirder than normal. Oh, hello there, Professor. Actually, there is something that has been troubling me. Oh boy, what is it? What? Oh no, that's terrible! What kind of intense issue has been on your mind? Well, there's this guy... Whenever I come face to face with him, I just get so tongue-tied. There's so much I want to say to him, but... Okay, it... They're definitely trying to sell me on something. I see. That is serious. Fortunately, I have an item that can take care of all your problems. Wh what That's amazing! Please, share it with us all! Yes, share it with us all, and where we could put our credit card information for what you're going to share. Don't worry, Lychee, it's not going anywhere! Ta-da! Arachnodroid! What the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? An arachnodroid? I'm arachnophobic, I'll have you know. Now watch carefully, I'm about to turn it on. Just a click! Okay. Hey there, baby. It's me, the irresistible Arachne. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? I just... I... I... What... I... What... I j You... What are... What is the... That voice... You know what, screw it, this is my life now. Let's just do it. Wow! It looks just like the real thing! I can't believe it! No, there, there's a very distinguishing feature here. Right? I know! The arachnodroid will perfectly imitate the voice of the person you love. And if that wasn't enough, it's also equipped with the latest AI developed right here at Sector 7. Talking to it is like talking to a real person. Oh my! Is there anything that Sector 7 can't do? Save my sanity? It can also expand and contract to make transportation easy. If you squish it enough, you can get it into your pocket. This is so weird. That's simply marvelous. With this, I know I can overcome my nervousness, but it must cost a small fortune. And here comes the price tag. You'd think so, but this wonderful creation can be yours for the low, low price of 19,800 PD, tax included. Is that the P money? 
How much P money do I have? Wow, that's so cheap. Uh, I feel like I'm SpongeBob right now. Just like it feels like someone's trying to sell me something. But wait, what? there's more. For a limited time, what? you can get the special white version with the original version. What? This incredible limited time offer is only. I don't know what to think here. What? 39,800, tax included. Amazing. Of course, shipping and handling are also included. So they both you pay for two of them and you get two of them. Oh my gosh. I must buy one of these right away. How can I get one of these for my very own? Yes, please, Kokonoe. Tell us, how can we purchase this thing? And now, let's begin the experiment. I... She's still... <laughs> she's still in that pose. So after all of that, you're just going to drop it without a word? Hey there, you sexy thing. Why don't you and me make sweet, sweet love? Stay off my lawn, you monster. Yeah, I find you more disgusting than the actual Arakune, ironically enough. <laughs> so stay off my lawn and stay off my couch. Stay off everything I know and have. And you know what? Just, just go away. Just please, never let me see you. Please, here, let me just delete, delete, delete. Can I just cover him with something? Just... There we go. That's good enough for me. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Is it just me or is he kind of annoying? Yes. Whatever. Just try talking to Lychee. Yes. Yes, he is. Gotcha. Hey, Lychee. How about the weather? Great, isn't it? I am going to just smash my head into the wall until I can no longer hear your voice specifically. Y yeah. I suppose so. Although it's impossible to tell how the weather is from here. Lychee, baby. You think the love from my heart brightens up even the darkest of days? Oh, you were always the hopeless romantic. Legitimately, this is actually worse than the bad ending. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't say anything like that. It's okay. I understand. You don't need to say a word. I can tell just by looking into your big, beautiful eyes what exactly it is you want to say. My hate for this character, well not this character, this thing right now, is actually growing so fast, it's actually rivaling Jin's, if not getting worse. I'm not- what the heck? Wow! Can I blow him up? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Kokonoe, yes. Another reason why you're a top tier waifu. I love it. <laughs> Professor, you're the one who made this thing. Its personality is nothing like the real things. How am I supposed to practice with this? She made this thing and she's immediately regretting it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he'd be this much of a pain in the ass. This thing's a failure. Now, come on, don't be like that. Professor, you know that I'm your finest creation. Burn it with fire. Burn it with fire, and then to burn the ashes even more. No, no, incinerate it, and then turn the ashes into a kind of mulch, a kind of manure, to grow a plant, and then burn that plant that grew from those ashes. Please, just get him. Stop him, please. I, I can't stand this. Shut it. Here's a Tata Robo. Go play with it somewhere else. A what? What the heck? Well, he did look like him, so I guess... What the heck was that thing just now? Anyway, bottom line is, I wanted to tell you that you need to calm down before you make any rash decisions. Just do your best next time, okay? Okay. But weren't you totally against what I was going to do? Uh, good point. <sighs> Actually, I'm a robot too. My name is Kokonoe Robo. 
what I told you isn't actually what Kokonoe thinks. Beep beep. Goodbye. Gosh darn it. She's such a dork, I love it. <laughs> what the? What the? Pr professor My goodness, she's so stubborn. Oh boy. This may be just a bonus feature, but it's still no reason for her to just phone it in like this. Wow. It looks like she isn't going to be coming back, so... Goodbye, everyone! Bye, Lychee! Bye! Okay, well that happened! Oh man, I... Jeez. Wow, we're actually finally starting to make progress here, wow. Anyways, oh my gosh, that's... That's, that's gonna do it for me. Gosh. Gosh, what was with that thing? <sighs> All right, well, that was fun. <laughs> oh, oh, also, I saw that there was a Blast Blue roguelike that actually came out recently, which I really want to give that a try, but I'm not sure how the whole like story plays with the Blast Blue series or how it's if it's going to be spoilery at all. If there's anything that could spoiler me more so than cross tag battle then i really don't think i should play that but if you guys think it is definitely worth it and i definitely should let me know i would definitely 100 love to try it it looks so good i've seen gameplay i've seen the character art it just looks great but i'm gonna leave that for you guys to decide and tell me anyways guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it i had a lot of fun this episode we got through lychee's story and very soon we're going to start getting through the rest of these stories. Up next, I may be playing Tager's story next, or Arakune's, but yeah, we're going to see just how that goes. Anyways, guys, we'll see which one I play next. Either way, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next stream or video of whatever I upload. Let me know this, uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of the, uh, Blast Blue Roguelike. I am really interested in playing that. And I'll see you all in the next video or stream of whatever I do. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And as always, I am Pump Squatch, hoping the echo isn't all that bad this time. Goodbye. Oh, wow, I have a lot of P money. All right, cool. We can get it. Nice.